What's going on everybody? Welcome to Always Hockey Pod, home and product reviews. And in this review, we have a water fountain. Now, this is a solar water fountain, which is 10 watts. When you open it, the first thing that comes out is the instructions. You have the big pump right here. Well, it's not that big, but it's bigger than normal, okay? N bigger than the normal pumps you get. With these pumps, there's usually a filter on the inside and I can see it. I don't know if you can see it, but the little black filter is inside. So if we could take this apart, I will find out. But they didn't provide extra filters. So if you need filters, you may need to go online to get some filters. We do have three different nozzles here. You have one, two, three, and this little nozzle right here. I've never seen this one before, but we definitely gonna check it out. We have the solar panel, and this is a pretty big solar panel. Yeah, it's about 10 inch panel. You get the bracket right here. Okay, you have an extension. You gotta pull it out. That's interesting. So all the other uh, extensions I had, you connect together, right? But this one, you pull out pretty nice all right you guys so we have the extension it looks like we got one two three nozzles this one is a weird nozzle it has an actual threads on it so i am not sure yet where this goes but i will definitely find out oh never mind so you can take this nozzle out oh they gave you a replacement yep so they gave you a replacement nozzle so you have two of these nozzles right here all righty what's interesting about the solar panel is that it has foam on the bottom so if you want to sit this flat down it won't scratch up nothing depending on where you have it on the outside they did give us an ability to mount it right here you see there's a metal part all right and here is a little recess slot right there for that metal part and then there's a hole on this side so what we're going to do is open it like this and put it on gotta go this way because i got these motors in my way all right that's in and that's in now you can tilt this and you can aim it right at the sun this thing says it has a lifetime of ten thousand hours oh so there are two different nozzles okay so it's saying this nozzle do something different than this nozzle. We will test it out. We will test that out. Um, caution, be sure it's enough water in the fountain, blah, blah, blah. Back here, it tells you about the cleaning. It lets you know that it won't work if you have a uh, shade blocking it, leaves, anything else blocking it. And uh, whatever's in your water, like leaves and stuff will go to your filter, block your motor and it will stop your fountain from working properly it has all the different nozzles on the functions on how it works all right you guys let's see if i could take i don't know if y'all can see it but you have to squeeze right here and there's a little split there's a split squeeze and pull and right there you can see the filter the filter is right here and i don't know what fell you don't get no extra filters so if you can buy some or use some from previous fountains the only way for you to put the extension on you need this like reducer part right here you have to put it in you put your extension on and remember you can go up down up just make sure you don't go all the way down because <laughs> it's hard to get back up you have to put your finger in and that's it all right you guys so let me go ahead into my little basin and let's have some fun all right everyone so now we are going to go ahead uh didn't want that to get wet <sighs> my instructions got wet all right you guys so the beauty of this is you're not limited to where you put your solar at so that's the beauty of this my basin is a little dirty so for the sake of this review we will have it working now this is just a connector you guys let me show you all real quick all right so if you look at this there's a little slot right here. Don't know if you can see it, but it goes right inside of that slot right there. You push it in. Once you push in, you screw the thread on. And then we put it out in the sun. As soon as you put it out in the sun, it works. Now, one thing I wanna say is that this thing is pretty powerful for being 10 watts.
This is one of the nozzles. And it's shooting up pretty high, you guys. So that is pretty cool. Let me go back out some more for y'all. And it fell. <laughs> So that shoots up pretty high. Let's go ahead and get into the other ones. That's if you have a big pond. If you got a big pond, this will definitely work for you. So let's see what this does. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, and I didn't even notice that you can bring it down. Okay, so I could probably use this out here if I just bring the whole thing down. Even though a lot of water is still leaving on the side of my basin. I have to center it. Oh, this is cool, you guys. This is awesome. All right, you guys, I had to take the solar panel out of the sun so the water could stop. Now, this time I'll hold it while I put it on. Now this is one of my favorite uh, nozzles right here, you guys. Can't lie to y'all on that one. Bring it a little closer for y'all. So that's one of my favorite nozzles right here. That's me blocking the sun. You guys, this thing needs full sun, okay? Full sun. If you block it even a little bit, and I'll show y'all that on another angle. Now, if I loosen this, that's what it looks like when you loosen. Let me put this other nozzle on. Remember, there was two uh, threaded nozzles. So I'm going to put this one on and see if there's a difference. And yep, it's definitely a difference. So this one comes up, which is cool. Oh, let me loosen it some. Okay, so if you loosen it, so it goes by the adjustments. If you make it really tight, it comes up really high. All right, so we'll loosen it. And wow, I think I have a new favorite nozzle, you guys. I like the way this one comes up. Let me put y'all on a different angle so y'all can see it better. All right, you guys, so I have it in the full sun, right? You see how just a little bit of shade and the shade is right here on the bottom. Just a little bit of shade takes it down. So you definitely need full sun with this unit, you guys, definitely. And that's about it. If y'all have any other questions, comments, concerns, please let me know. Um, I'll get back to y'all as soon as possible. I want to actually uh, put this in the front yard to, uh, put it in my pot so if you want to see me do like more of different water features or fit fixtures or whatever yeah this is pretty cool all right you guys so i'm gonna put this in the front of my house um subscribe to the channel or follow me on my tiktok and instagram where i show y'all you know different things you can do with these pumps and that will be it like comment, share, and subscribe.